Hey guys, good morning. I have another tutorial to share with you guys. This is also a bunny with a different ears and the border is different. Okay, the materials I am going to use two sizes of hook, size H 5.0 millimeter for the blanket, and B 2.25 mm for the head and the arm. And also, I am going to use fiber fill for the stuffing and a marker and a small portion of um, black yarn for the face embroidery. And also, I am going to use two colors. It is a white color yarn and a cream color. So, okay guys, if you are ready, let's begin. Okay. We are going to start with the blanket and with the larger size hook and the cream color yarn we are going to make a magic ring wrap around yarn on your finger twice one two remove the ring and into the ring we are going to make a chain three one two three this is counted as first double we are going to make two more one Two, and make a chain two and make three double crochet into the same ring one two three make a chain two three double crochet again into the same space one two three and make a chain two and three double crochet again into the same space and we are going to close the ring we have two strands here the inside strand we are going to pull that halfway from left to right now we are going to pull the tail pull it tight okay we have three corners here and to form the last corner make a chain one and single crochet on top of the beginning chain three now we form the chain two space so we have four corners around and for the second round make a chain three and make two double crochet into the same space one two make a chain one and into the next corner we are going to make a shell which is three double crochet chain two and three double crochet into the same space one two three chain two one two three now make a chain one and into the next um corner we are going to make a shell one two three make a chain two three double crochet into the same space Now we have the two corners. Make a chain one and make a shell into the next corner again. Chain two and three double crochet. Okay. Now to complete the beginning shell, we need to make three double crochet into the same space. Make a chain one and three double crochet into the same space in the beginning of the round. And make a chain one and single crochet on top of the beginning chain three. All right now make a chain three and make two double crochet into the same space 
chain 1 and 3 double crochet into the next chain 1 space we are going to skip this 3 double and into the next chain 1 space make 3 double crochet and chain 1 now make a shell into the next corner 1 2 3 chain 2 1 2 3 and make a chain 1 and 3 double crochet see this is what happened honey it is going to stop again make 3 double crochet into the next chain 1 space 1 2 3 chain 1 and into the next corner make a shell 1 2 3 chain 2 and 3 double crochet into the same space chain 1 and make 3 double crochet into the next chain 1 space chain 1 and shell into the next shell 1 2 3 chain 2 and 3 double crochet then chain 1 and 3 double into the next chain 1 space chain 1 and to complete the the beginning shell make 3 double crochet into the same space 1 2 3 chain 1 and single crochet on top of the beginning chain 3 this is how it looks like okay guys now for the next round make a chain 3 and make 2 double crochet into the same space 1 2 and chain 1 and skip the next 3 double and into the next chain 1 space make a 3 double crochet chain 1 skip the next 3 double and 3 double crochet into the next chain 1 space chain 1 and shell into the next corner 1, 2, 3, chain 2, 1, 2, 3, chain 1. Now, make 3 double crochet in each of the next 2 chain 1 spaces with chain 1 in between. 1, 2 3 chain 1 1 2 3 chain 1 and shell into the next corner 1 2 3 chain chain 2 1 2 3 chain 1 and 3 double crochet into the next chain 1 space chain 1 3 double crochet into the next chain 1 space again chain 1 and shell into the next corner 1 2 3 chain 2 one two three chain one and three double into the next chain one space
chain one and three double crochet into the next chain one space chain one and complete the shell three double into the same space chain one and single crochet on top of the beginning chain three and chain three okay now guys repeat this last round that we just finished eight more times one two three four yeah repeat this last round eight more times and always begin your work with um chain three and two double crochet into the same space and always end your work with um three double crochet into the same space in the beginning of the round and to form the last chain two space make a chain one and single crochet on top of the beginning chain three go ahead and repeat this eight more times and i will meet you for the next round i finished my eight rounds guys and i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i have twelve rounds from the beginning and for the last round i made a chain two and slip stitch into the beginning on top of the beginning chain three now we are going to join the white color you can join it anywhere guys it's up to you but i used to join it in any of the corners so i'm going to use one of the corner with the white yarn we are going to join it with slip stitch one two three and make two double crochet into the same space one two and make a chain two and three double crochet into the same space one two three we made the first shell make a chain one and we are going to make three double crochet in each chain one spaces across and with chain one in between okay three double crochet in each spaces across with chain one in between go ahead and do it and i will meet you before the corner okay i finished it across and i have two four six eight ten eleven i have eleven groups of three double crochet now for the corner we are going to make a chain one and make shell into the chain two space all right one two three chain two one two three and chain one and for the next side we are going to repeat the the first um side of the blanket make three double crochet in each of the chain one spaces across with chain one in between and make a shell into the corner and go ahead and continue until you reach the joining and i will meet you for the next round i finished my round guys and now we are going to make a chain one and join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain three and we are going to slip stitch in each of the next two stitches one two and slip stitch into the chain two space and we are going to close our work here and cut the yarn <coughs> okay now we are going to join the cream color again join it with slip stitch and make a chain three and make two double crochet into the same space one two 
chain 2 and make 3 double crochet into the same space to complete the shell 1 2 3 and we are going to make 3 double crochet in each of the spaces across with chain 1 in between go ahead and make 3 double crochet chain 1 in each of the spaces across and I will meet you at the corner okay I finished my 3 double crochet group across to the corner and I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 I have 12 3 double crochet group and now for the next corner we are going to make a chain 1 and make a shell into the chain 2 space 1 2 3 chain 2 1 2 3 and chain 1 Okay, now we completed the first side and go ahead and repeat this around for the remaining three sides of the blanket and I will meet you for the joining. Okay, I finished my round and now make a chain one and join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain three. And slip stitch in each of the next two stitches. One, two, and slip stitch into the chain two space. And we can cut our yarn here. Okay, now we are going to join the white color again. Join it with slip stitch into the same chain two space. And make a chain three and make two double crochet into the same space make a chain two and three double crochet into the same chain two space to complete the shell one two three and make a chain one and now we are going to make three double crochet in each of the chain one spaces across and with chain one in between okay go ahead and make three double crochet with chain one in between into each chain one spaces across and then i will meet you for the next corner okay guys i finished it across i have two four 6 8 10 12 13 i have 13 groups of three double crochet and i make a shell into the next corner and now go ahead and repeat this for the remaining sides of the blanket okay repeat this for the remaining sides of the blanket and i will meet you for the joining i finished my round and now join it with slip stitch on top of the beginning chain three And slip stitch in each of the next two stitches. One, two, slip stitch into the next chain two space. We can cut the yarn here. Now we are going to join the other color again, the main color. Okay, this time. I want to join it with slip stitch in any of these chain 1 spaces. Join it with slip stitch. Make a chain 3. 2 double crochet into the same space. Then make a chain 3. And slip stitch in on top of the third double. We have 3 double crochet here. 
into on the on top of the third double we're going to slip stitch there we just made the picot and make three double crochet into the next chain one space one two three make a chain three and slip stitch on top of the third double and three double crochet into the next chain one space make a chain three slip stitch on top of the last double make three double crochet into the next chain one space make a chain three slip stitch on top of the last double okay this is how it looks like and make three double crochet into the next chain two space at the corner one two three and make a chain three and slip stitch on top of the last double and make three double crochet into the same chain two space one two three make a chain three slip stitch on top of the last double okay guys make three double crochet into the next chain one space one two three and make a chain three slip stitch on top of the last double and three double crochet into the next chain one space chain three slip stitch on top of the last double okay this is how it looks now go ahead and repeat this around make three double crochet picot and three double crochet picot do it across and when you reach the corner when you reach the corner make three double crochet and then picot and three double crochet into the same um, chain two space and then picot go ahead and repeat this around and i will meet you for the joining okay guys i finished my round and i i made my last picot here and we're going to slip stitch on top of the beginning chain three And we can end our work here. Alright. Now we finish the blanket. And this is how it looks like. This, these are the corners look like. We have four corners. Okay. And now that we finish, go ahead and go ahead and hide all the tails of your rounds. Okay, go ahead and hide all of this, and we can start for the arms of the um, lobby. <coughs> okay, for the arm, we are going to make a magic ring and we are going to make six single crochet into the ring one two three four five six and we are going to close the ring pull the inside strand halfway this is the outside this is the inside 
pull it halfway and pull the tail pull it tight and now we are going to make two single crochet in each stitches around one I am going to crochet this along as I go now we can use the marker to put into the first single and one more single into the same stitch two two single crochet in each of the remaining stitches one two one two one two one two one two now i have 12 double crochet around remove the marker now for the next round make single crochet into the beginning single put the marker again make two double crochet into the next i mean two single crochet into the, the next one two single crochet into the next two single into the next one two repeat this pattern around make single into the next stitch two single into the next stitch single into the next two single into the next repeat this pattern around and i will meet you for the next round i have the total of 18 single crochet around now for the next round make a single into the first single and then put the marker and go ahead and make single crochet in each stitches around with a total of 18 single crochet okay i finished my round and i have 18 single crochet around for the next round make single crochet in each stitches around again put the marker Go ahead and make one single crochet in each stitches around with the total of 18 and I will meet you for the next round. Okay, I finished my round. Now remove the marker and for the next round, make single crochet into the beginning single. Put the marker and we are going to make a decrease using the two stitches. We are going to do a decrease slip stitch into the slip hook into the next single pull up yarn slip hook into the next pull up yarn we have three loops on hook draw all three loops now single into the next decrease into the next two stitches single into the next and then decrease go ahead and repeat this around make single into the next stitch and then decrease single into the next and then decrease go ahead repeat this around and i will meet you for the joining i finished my round and i have 12 stitches now remove the marker and for the round seven we are going to make single crochet around one put the marker two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
11, 12. Okay. For the round 8 to 11, round 8, 9, 10, 11, repeat this last round. Single crochet in each stitches around with a total of 12 single crochet. Go ahead and finish your round 8 to 11 and I will meet you for the next round. Okay, I finished my round 8 to 11 and this is how it looks like. Now we are going to lightly stuff it. Do not put too much of this stuffing. Okay, now we are going to flatten it and we are going to crochet in both thickness. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and this is how it looks like okay now we can cut the yarn okay go ahead and make one more of this and when you finish we're going to start for the head okay guys I finished the arms I have a pair and now we are going to start for the head for the head make a magic ring and into the ring we are going to make six single crochet using the same size of hook okay the smaller size make a chain one this is not counted and into the ring we are going to make six single crochet one Two, three, four, five, six. Now we are going to close the ring. We are going to pull the inside strand like before. This is the outside, and this is the inside. We are going to pull this halfway. And we're going to pull the tail, pull it tight. Okay, now we are going to make two single crochet in each of the stitches around. I am going to crochet this along as I go. One, put the marker. One more single into the same stitch. And two single crochet in each of the remaining five stitches. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Now I have the total of 12 single crochet. Remove the marker and make single crochet into the beginning stitch and put the marker again. We are at the round three. Now Make two single crochet into the next one, two, and single crochet into the next two single crochet into the next. Repeat this around, make single crochet into the next, and then two single crochet into the next. Repeat this around, and I will meet you for the next round. Okay, I finished my round and I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 
10, 12, 14, 16. I have 18 stitches around. Now for the next round, make single crochet into the beginning single and put the marker. Single crochet into the next single and two double crochet into the next. Okay, repeat this pattern. Make one single crochet in each of the next two stitches and then increase which is two double crochet into the same stitch single crochet in each of the next two increase single crochet in each of the next two increase repeat this pattern around and i will meet you for the next round i finished my round and i have 24 stitches around now for the next round make one single crochet in each of the first three single one put the marker two three now make an increase to the two single crochet into the next one two one single crochet in each of the next three one two three and two single crochet into the next Okay, repeat this pattern around. One single crochet in each of the next three and then increase. One single crochet in each of the next three and then increase. Go ahead and finish your round. I will meet you for the next round. Guys, I finished my round and I have 30 single crochet around. Now for the next round, make one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. One one put the marker two three four and then two do two single crochet into the next one two one single crochet in each of the next four one two three four two single crochet into the next go ahead repeat this around one single crochet in each of the next four two single crochet into the next one single crochet in each of the next four two single crochet into the next repeat this around and i will meet you for the next round i complete my round and i have 36 single crochet around remove the marker for the next round Make one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Put the marker. Two, three, four, five. Two single crochet into the next. One, two. Go ahead, repeat this around. One single crochet in each of the next five. Two single crochet into the next, one single in each of the next five, two single crochet into the next. Repeat this around and I will meet you for the next round. I completed my round and I have 42 single crochet around. Now remove the marker. For the next round, make one single crochet in each of the next six, one, and then put the marker again. two three four five six two single crochet into the next okay repeat this pattern around one single crochet in each of the next six two single crochet into the next one single crochet in each of the next six and two single crochet into the next repeat this around and i will see you at the next round okay i have 48 single crochet around and for the next round make a single crochet into the beginning single put the marker we are now at the round nine and go ahead and make one single crochet and each stitches around with a total of 48 single crochet when you finish go ahead and complete your round and i will meet you for the next round 
Okay, I finished my round. And now for the round 10, 11, 12, and 13, go ahead and repeat this last round. And make sure to maintain the 48 counts of single crochet in each round. Go ahead and finish your round 10 to 13, and I will meet you for the next round. Okay, I finished my round 10 to 13. And for the round 14, we are going to make single crochet in each of the next 6 stitches. 1, put your marker. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we are going to do the decrease using the 2 stitches. Insert hook into the next, pull up yarn, insert hook into the next, pull up yarn. We have three loops on hook, pull through all loops, and make one single crochet in each of the next six again one, two, three, four, five, six, and then decrease. Insert hook into the next, pull up yarn, insert hook into the next, and pull up yarn. We have three loops on hook, pull through, and repeat this pattern around. Single crochet in each of the next six, and then decrease. Single crochet in each of the next six, and then decrease. Repeat this around, and I will meet you for the next round. Okay, I finished my round, and I have 42 single crochet around. And now, for the next round, which is round 15, we're going to make one single crochet in each of the first five stitches. One, put your marker. Two. Three. Four. Five and then decrease and single crochet in each of the next five again. And decrease. Now repeat this around, make one single crochet in each of the next five, decrease, one single crochet in each of the next five, and decrease. Repeat this around, and I will meet you for the next round. Okay, I complete my round, and I have 36 single crochet around. And for the round 16, make one single crochet in each of the first four stitches. One, and put your marker. two three four and do the decrease and single crochet in each of the next four two three four and then decrease Okay, go ahead and repeat this around. Make single crochet in each of the next four, decrease single crochet in each of the next four, and then decrease. Go ahead and repeat this pattern around, and I will meet you for the next round. I complete my round, and I have 30 stitches around. And for the round 17, make single crochet in each of the next three stitches. One, put the marker. Two, three, and do the decrease. Single crochet in each of the next three. One, two, three, and then decrease. Okay. 
Okay, repeat this around. Single in each of the next three, decrease. Single in each of the next three, decrease. And then when you finish, I will meet you for the next round. Okay, I finished my round and I have 24 stitches. And now for the round 18, make one single crochet in each of the next two. One, put the marker. Two, and then decrease. And single crochet in each of the next two. And decrease. And single in each of the next two. Okay, repeat this pattern around. Decrease, single in each of the next two. And decrease, single in each of the next two. Repeat this around and I will meet you for the next round. Okay, I finished my round and I have 18 single crochet remaining. Now we are going to start to stuff the head. Stuff the head firmly. Go ahead and finish your stuffing and then I will meet you for the next round. Okay, I finished my stuffing. And now with the yarn needle and the black yarn, we are going to insert the needle between the six, the fifth and the sixth round from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. In between the fifth and the sixth, we're going to insert the needle there. And we're going to count from from the six seven eight okay six seven eight we're going to insert the needle in between the eight and the nine and insert the needle in between the nine in the tenth by skipping one stitch here to the left okay can you see it there All right and then we are going to insert the needle here again skipping one stitch to the right okay now we are going to insert the needle back here again and then insert here Okay. And we are going to insert the needle here through here. And insert it back here again through here. Can you see it? And insert back here and we are going back here okay all right now we are going to complete the nose
One more. Okay. Okay, one more. Okay, now we are going to count from above the nose. One, two, three. In between the second and the third, we are going to insert the needle there to the right. Okay. And from from this line below, we are going to insert it here. <coughs> and we are going to insert back here. going to the top can you see it and insert back here and through here okay now we are going to insert back here again going back to the left into this line Okay, skipping one, two, three. Skipping three stitches. Just follow this line. And then going back here. Okay. And this is how it looks like. Can you see it? Okay. Now we are going to cut the yarn here. And we can tie it into a knot secure one two okay now we can continue working to close the um, remaining rounds For the next round, make single crochet into the next stitch. Put your marker and do the decrease for the next. single crochet into the next and then decrease single crochet into the next Go ahead and continue this pattern around. Make single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease around, and I will meet you for the next round. Okay, I finished my round and I have 12 single crochet around. Now we are going to do the decrease only. Decrease into the next two stitches. One. Two, and then put your marker go
go ahead and complete the decrease around when you finish you should have six um, stitches around Okay, I finished my decrease. And I'm going to close my work here. And cut the yarn. Make sure to have a long link for you to use it to join into the blanket. Okay. Now, I am going to put some more of the stuffing to cover the black yarn. Excuse me. Okay, guys, I finished it, and now we are going to use the yarn needle to close the last hole here. This time, we are only going to grab the um, front loop, okay? Insert. Insert the needle into the front loop of the first stitch. And then do it for the remaining stitches. One more and we are going to pull it tight to close the hole okay okay now we can now that we finish the fit the head of the lobby okay now that we finish the head, we are going to continue for the ears. Okay guys, now we are going to do the ears. Make a magic ring using the cream color. Wrap around yarn on your finger twice. Remove the ring. And into the ring, we are going to make six single crochet. Chain one. This is not counted. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we are going to close the ring by pulling the inside strand halfway from left to right. Okay, and now we are going to pull the tail, pull it tight, and I am going to crochet this along the tail into the first single make a single crochet
okay now put the ring I mean put the marker <coughs> and make two single crochet into the next stitch one two single crochet into the next two single crochet into the next one two single crochet into the next two single crochet into the last stitch one two now remove the marker and for the for the third round we're going to make one single crochet in each of the next two stitches one put the marker single crochet into the next and increase into the next in the increase will be two single crochet in into the same stitch one two and single crochet in each of the next two stitches one two increase into the next one two single in each of the next two and increase into the last stitch okay now for the round four make one single crochet in each stitches around one put the marker two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay i have twelve single crochet around for the round five make one single crochet in each of the next two stitches one put the marker two and increase into the next one two and single crochet in each of the next two one two increase into the next one two remember remember guys the increase will be two single crochet into the same stitch and single into the next in each of the next two and increase single in each of the next two and increase okay now I have um, 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 I have 16 stitches now remove the marker and for the round 6 make single crochet in each of the next three stitches one put the marker two three and then increase into the next one two single crochet in each of the next three again one two three and increase into the next okay go ahead repeat this around and i will meet you for the next round okay i finished my round and i have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty i have twenty stitches two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty yeah it, I have 20 stitches around and now for the round 7 
make one single crochet in each stitches around one put the marker and continue working with one single crochet around two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty okay remove the marker and for the round eight to thirteen Go ahead and repeat this last round, one single crochet in each stitches around, and make sure to maintain the 20 single crochet around in each round, okay? Go ahead and finish your round 8 to 13, and I will meet you for the next round. Okay, I finished my round 8 to round 13. Now for the round 14, make single crochet into the beginning single and then put your marker and single crochet in each of the next seven one two three four five six seven now we are going to do the decrease we're going to use the two stitches together in insert hook into the next stitch pull up yarn insert hook into the next stitch pull up yarn we have three loops on hook and pull through all loops now single crochet in each of the next eight stitches one two three four five six seven eight and then decrease into the last two stitches <clears throat> okay now for the round 14 and 15 we are going I mean for the round 15 and 16 we are going to make single crochet in each stitches around one go ahead and make your round 15 and 16 by making single crochet in each stitches around and i will meet you for the next round okay i finished my rounds 15 and 16 now for the round 17 single crochet into the beginning single and put your marker and single crochet in each of the next six stitches one two three four five six and we're going to do the decrease insert hook into the next stitch pull up yarn insert hook into the next stitch pull up yarn three loops on hook okay now single crochet in each of the next seven one two three four five six seven and we're going to do the decrease into the last two stitches okay now for the round 18 and 19 we are going to make one single crochet in each stitches around go ahead and finish your round 18 and 19 by making one single crochet in each stitches around and I will meet you for the next round okay I finished my rounds 18 and 19 for the round 20 we are going to make 
one single crochet into the first six stitches one put your marker two three four five six now make a decrease insert hook into the next stitch pull up yarn insert hook into the next stitch pull up yarn three loops on hook okay now single crochet in each of the next six again one two three four five six and decrease using the last two stitches now make a single crochet in each stitches around for the round 21 put your marker in the beginning of the round two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen I have fourteen single crochet into the last round and now we are going to flatten it flatten it like that and we are going to use both loop uh, both thickness to crochet across okay one two three four five six now we can close our work here cut the yarn okay and with the using the yarn needle using the yarn needle we are going to fold the ears fold it this way and we are going to gather both sides one more okay now go ahead and make one more of this and we can start joining the pieces together okay guys i have all the pieces i have the ears i have the arms i have the head and also the blanket and now we are going to start joining the pieces together we are going to start with the arm and the yarn needle okay now position the arms this way All right if you have your own way of joining the pieces just go ahead and do it i'm just doing it for you guys so that you have idea how to do it but if you already know how to join just go ahead and join it okay
right now we are going to join the other one Okay. okay guys now that we finished joining the arms this is how it looks like now and we are going to proceed for the um for the ears for the ears you have two options okay either you can join the ears together like this in the center like that you can join it in the center or you can do it this way with a small gap between between the ears so go ahead guys and join the ears of your um bunny head in any way you like either like that or like that or just like that Go ahead, finish joining the ears, and then I will start showing you how to join it into the blanket. Okay, guys, I'm done joining the ears. This is how the ears look like. Okay. Now, we can start joining the head into the blanket. To join, make sure that you are on the right side of the blanket. This is the wrong side and this is the right side so we are going to join the head into the middle at the middle okay you can see the middle here join it here you can face it through the corner or you can face it through the center the middle okay I'm using the needle to join it I believe you know how to join it already guys just join it into the middle of the blanket Okay.
okay now the head is joined and what you have to do is just run the needle all the way through the back okay and we can weave it here Do it one more time. Okay, now cut the yarn. So we finish another lobby. okay guys we're done now maybe for the next video i will be making just the ears so it's more easy for you yeah yeah for the next video i will make a, sep a separate video for the ears and here's how the lobby look like okay thank you for joining me guys i hope you enjoyed crocheting with me and See you for the next video. Bye-bye.